might as well take a look around the factory, I guess. So we know that. Don't go. Yes, hello. Kate, what happened to you, my poor munchkin? I've been trying to contact you for hours. I'm in Europe, Ma. Job thing. What? Europe? My God. Oh, I've got such happy memories of Europe. Some of them even involve your father, but uh, that's enough of that. Tell me, where are you? Paris? London? Venice? Valadilene. Yeah, I know. It's a bit out in the boonies. What in the world are you doing out there? You know, business. I've got to see through the takeover of some old family business that's got a few debts. It's a really charming place, but there's one or two weird things going on here. I, I can't go into it now. Oh, well, that's right. Your old mother's too dumb to understand it. You really do take after your father sometimes. Mother. Kate, you'll never guess who I saw yesterday. Ma, I haven't got a lot of time, you know. Frank! Ma, please, I've got to go. Frank! Frank Malkovich, the Russian opera singer. Well, maybe you don't remember him. He was quite a star in his day. Listen, Ma, I really don't have the time. I'll call you back. He is as charming as he always was. We spent the... Mom, I really have to go. I'll call you back, I promise. Lots of love. Kate! I guess we really don't like to talk to our mother for long. Um, as I was going to say, uh, we've learned that uh, Hans, the brother of the owner of the factory is probably still alive and somewhere in Siberia and that the owner who has died Anna is uh, was building a train and a robot and and gathering some items apparently to go and visit him so let's see if we can find anything else in the factory I said robot, I should say automaton because apparently the locals don't like it if you call their inventions robots. <laughs> well, let's see what this is. Can I go here? Can't talk to this dude. Well, he's just hanging there, I guess. I just realized that maybe I like the music because it's a sign that you're doing things correctly. <laughs> you sold the puzzle. Let's see. Oh, many thanks indeed. I am most embarrassed for you to see me like this. I lack a certain completion. You see, nobody here found the time to polish off the finishing touches. Honestly, these days, we really have lost the art of good workmanship. Uh, yeah, maybe. With whom do I have the honor of speaking? Could you please state your identity, articulating clearly? My name is Kate. Kate Walker. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Model XZ2000. My common name is Oscar. I represent the technological zenith of this factory's production. I have been designed to drive a locomotive. A touch messy, but an essential task. So he's the train driver, apparently. That's why he needed to be made. Um, he seems very eloquent for an automaton. Uh, what shall we ask him? Well, he obviously doesn't have his legs yet. Uh, well, he's... You are a very strange robot. Automaton, if you please. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. Automatons have an additional soul auxiliary, you understand? Uh. I think so. <laughs> oh, what else shall we ask him about? 
Um, let's ask him about the owner of the factory who was working on him. Has it been a long time since you last saw Anna Varlberg? 72 hours, 32 minutes, and 20 seconds to be precise. This regrettable absence explains the delay in my production process. Anna Varlberg is dead, Mr. Oscar. What do you mean by the notion of death, Kate Walker? Broken. Disactivated. Worn out. Damaged. Unplugged. Oh, that really is most bothersome. I'd rather count it on finishing my production. Yes, what about your production? Can I be of use to you? Why, you certainly can. I absolutely must have my feet. My hands are Model XZ-2003. My feet are Model XZ-2005 underscore B. Be careful. The Model XZ-2005 underscore A has evidenced some rather embarrassing performance failures. Like bugs? Automatons do not have bugs, Kate Walker. They simply display functional idiosyncrasies. I'm sorry, I didn't know. What do I have to do to get you a pair of feet? Use the assembly line to construct them. You will need a production punch card on which is recorded my body design data. Here is my own punch card. Okay, I'll give it a go. Thank you, Kate Walker. And now I become a factory worker. Just like that. <laughs> no training or anything. Does he know anything about Hans? Does the name Hans Vorlberg mean something to you? Of course, he created me. But I'm sorry to say that I am yet to meet my maker. Have you any idea where he might be right now? No, Kate Walker, but I am sure I would experience great metaphysical satisfaction in his presence. Hmm. We do need to find out where he is, obviously. Um, uh, my mission. Do you know where I could find the factory paperwork? I cannot reply to this question with precision. Try Anna Vorlberg's office above the machine floor. Oh, we did that already, so that was useless. Um, ask him about that train, I guess. You said you were a train engineer? What train would that be? But, Kate Walker, you have not seen the magnificent train waiting at the station? And where is that train going, Mr. Oscar? The train is going far away. Very, very far away indeed. Are you taking any passengers? My duty is to drive the train. Above all, to avoid delays. An engineer prides himself on punctuality. I will agree with you, though, Kate Walker, that a train without passengers is hardly a train at all. You haven't answered my question. For further details, please consult Anna Vorlberg. Well, that would be difficult. Um... Nope. <laughs> as bizarre as it may seem, I have the impression you are the only person who can help me. I very much doubt it, Kate Walker. Why do you say that? What good am I without appendices, I ask you? Hmm, true. I guess, uh... Well, we've Oscar, got... I am delighted to have met you. See you again soon, I hope. Yes, Kate Walker. Got one new uh, objective there. Make some feet for the automaton, Oscar. I quite like Oscar. He's, uh, he's funny. Run. Run. Um, what to do now? So we've got our punch card. The music cylinder that we picked up in the office. Uh, we've got all this previous stuff that I don't think we need anymore. In our phone. Do we need to notify the office? I don't know. You have reached Larson and Lawman Associates. We're sorry, but all our lines are busy. Please call back later. I guess not. Uh, right. So, feet for Oscar. 
it does seem like the train was um, designed to go to wherever Hans is. And since we need to find Hans, we probably need to get the train going. Doesn't look like that works. Right. There doesn't seem to be any power at the moment. Which makes sense as the factory is closed. There is always a bit of running back and forth in these games, I guess can be a bit annoying sometimes but at least they made the they made these scenes look really pretty um, so it's not that bad I think there's always a lot on the screen to look at and it's beautiful so. see if we can find have a look around the grounds since we're here anyway <laughs> what's over there uh, don't know. that seems to be a train station we have a private train station pretty cool it's really nice it reminds me a bit of um, train station in uh, Antwerp or some other European places we go on the train a look it's a nice looking train it's uh well i guess it's not steampunk because it's not a steam train I'm not sure what it's called at least we're not alone So this is the train with the train station. No need to go down there. Guess not. This was the entrance, I believe. Yeah, this is the house where they lived, I guess. Um, let's have a look here. I seem to remember power being turned on by doing something here. It's always a good thing in this type of game to just look at all the places you can go. <laughs> And see if there's anything you can do. Just try out all the handles. Uh, see, there you go. That's something we need. I have no idea what it is, but... No idea. It did something. I 
let's go back into the factory. Because oh, there's a little bird there. Because we want to make feet for Oscar. That's an interesting production line. I'm sure we can figure it out. <laughs> 